Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 15th series of Principles of Drug Discovery. Uh, in this video, we are going to see about combinatorial chemistry in lead identification. What is combinatorial chemistry? Combinatorial chemistry is a chemical synthetic method that employs the approach of combining a large number of reactants at a time, which facilitates synthesis of numerous lead compounds in a single process. The principle involves combining a set of individual reactants with another set of individual reactants in any combination to produce large number of synthesized compounds. So it appears like this. Uh, uh, every compound will react with uh, different reagents to give different compounds. That is the concept behind combinatorial chemistry. Let us see the advantages of uh, combinatorial chemistry. A large number of molecules can be synthesized, purified and screened at a time. This is the fastest approach to lead generation. The risk of failure is very low. Large number of derivatives can be synthesized at a time. Useful in discovery of new ligands and their characterization. It is uh, useful uh, in synthesis of biomolecules by iterative amino acid peptide synthesis. Let us see the difference between uh, traditional, that is orthodox methods of synthesis and combinatorial chemistry for lead synthesis. So orthodox or traditional uh, synthesis synthesizes one molecule at a time, whereas combinatorial chemistry synthesizes make larger number of molecules. But for both the things, making, testing the purity and characterization is important. The traditional methods are very slow in the production of leads, whereas the combinatorial chemistry is very fast in producing the leads. The risk of failure is high with the traditional methods, whereas in case of combinatorial chemistry, the, the, the risk of failure is very less. Let us see the strategies for initiation of combinatorial synthesis. The first method is the building blocks are added to the preceding structure to increase uh, the bulk in one direction and applying protective groups which make the reaction selective. So this appears like this. A reacts with B, uh, one group is added, then C, another group is added then D, another group is added. That is the preceding structure. In the preceding structure, the building blocks are added continuously applying one by one. So this is the first method. And the second method appears like this. The building blocks are added in different directions. That is the synthesis proceeds in various directions from the template structure having characteristic functional groups using the protective group. The necessary criteria for combinatorial chemical synthesis. The reaction should form a bond between the building blocks. The reaction should be specific and should produce high yield. The building block must be available. The reaction should allow the formation of wide variety of structures. It must be possible to determine the structure of the final structure accurately. The methods of combinatorial or lead synthesis. Uh, there are two methods. One is solid support method and solution method. In solid support method, uh, the reaction can be used in excess, whereas in solution uh, method, the reactions cannot be used in excess. Uh, the, in solid support method, it is a multi-step synthesis is possible, which is not possible in solution method. Only limited number of reactions are feasible in solid support method, whereas all reactions are possible in the solution method. Scale up is expensive in solid support, whereas uh, in solution support, the scale, scale up is inexpensive. Purification is easy in case of solid support, whereas the purification is difficult in case of solution method. A linker is required in solid support method, whereas linker is not used in the solution method. Let us see the resins used in combinatorial chemistry. A resin is a solid support which is spherical beads in appearance <coughs> that are functionalized to allow attachment of linkers and substrate molecules. There are three types of resins which are used for combinatorial synthesis. They are cross-linked polystyrene, polyamide resins and polystyrene polyethylene glycol resins. Let us see the cross-linked polystyrene first. So it appears uh, like this. These are the most commonly available and cheapest polymeric material. 
the light cross linked gel type polystyrene that is gps beads functionalized with amino methyl groups and linkers are the material of choice for combinatorial synthesis gps has a characteristic to swell uh, from solid state to gel state in the presence of low to medium polarity ranging from aliphatic hydrocarbons to dichloromethane thereby expressing the reactive sites to easily accessible to the reactants next is uh, polyamide resin it appears uh, like this these are the second most commonly used polymeric material after gps they have the characteristic to swell from solid state to gel state in the presence of polar or protic solvents uh, such, uh, such as uh, dmf or dimethyl sulfoxide thereby exposing the reactive sites uh, to be easily accessible to the reagents they mimic the peptide and have its application in peptide synthesis employing the protection groups and the linkers the next one is a polystyrene or polyethylene glycol uh, resin it appears uh, like this the resins are copolymers of uh, polyethylene glycol attached to cross linked uh, polystyrene via ether linkage with variety of functional groups at the end of side chain separated by polyethylene glycol insert it comprises a very large number of functional groups per beads thereby facilitates the synthesis of the same compound up to 5 times it swells in the presence of solvents from medium to high polarity ranging from toluene to water the next is the linkers used in carbonatorial chemistry in the link it will have a polymeric bead a functional group in in between there will be a linker these are the groups uh, that anchor the compounds being synthesized to the beads the linker sits in between the compound and the solid support they possess uh, various functional groups which, which attach the molecule example linker having alcohol functional group binds successfully uh, and attach carboxylic acid groups there are uh, three types of linkers uh, used in combinatorial synthesis they are alkyl silyl linker safety catch linker and photo labile linker <coughs> let us see the alkyl silyl linker first it appears uh, like this there will be a silyl silyl group silene uh, coupling agents have the ability to form a du durable bond between the organic and inorganic materials encounters uh, between dissimilar material often involve at least one member that is siliceous or has surface chemistry with siliceous properties next is safety catch linker it appears uh, like this it will have so2 nh2 group the term safety catch principle was introduced by kenner in 1971 for peptide chemistry safety catch linkers are used especially for solid phase synthesis of alcohols vanadines aldehydes carboxylic acids amides esters etc next is photo labile linker so it appears uh, like uh, this it is related to light these are the subjects of intense research because they allow the release of target molecule simply by irradiation photo labile protecting groups being uh, bring an interesting feature <coughs> as they do not require any reagent for their cleavage but requires only light in the solid phase method uh, there are two methods one is a tea bag method so it appears uh, like this it's like a tea bag the peptide synthesis occurs on resin filled with the solution of activated amino acid monomer placed inside the polypropylene bags next is a multi pin method so there will be multi pins in this method peptide synthesis takes place on the polypropylene surface functionalized with acrylic uh, rearrange acid rearrangement in 96 well plate containing activated amino acid monomers using a spacer other methods of solid phase are uh, spot me membrane method this method is similar to previous method except the cellulose membrane is used instead of polyethylene surface next is a light directed spatially addressable parallel solid phase library method amino acid monomers are covalently coupled 
with the photolabile nitro veratrile carbonyl linker using light and the substrate is activated amino acid coupling occurs in the <coughs> region exposed to light and on the exposure of light to various reagents of leads to combinatorial peptide synthesis solution phase synthesis uh, first method is mix and split technique in this method uh, the support resin is divided into large number of uh, equal parts and each of them is made to react with single different reagents that is the uh, first a reagent reacts then b reagent reacts then c reagent reacts it continues on and on you can see from this picture after the reaction gets complete individual fragments are recombined into one flask mixed well and the procedure is repeated again and again and this technique is multi mix and split technique next is parallel technique in this method the reaction of the resin is made with each reagent that is first it reacts with a then b and c then the next compound continues after the reaction gets complete the product is divided into portions before the procedure is reacted again and again let us see merrifield's combinatorial synthesis it is an example so first <coughs> the production of the first amino acid group with butyl carbonyl group the next is attachment of c terminal of n protected amino acid to the resin here the resin used is merrifield resin you can uh, see from this uh, diagram so this is the merrifield resin then uh, removal of the protecting group and purification of the product by washing then addition of uh, n protected amino acid and purification of the product by washing everywhere the resin is attached always and the reaction continues then elongation of the peptides by repetition of the steps a to c then release of the peptide from the main chain it continues on and on and this method is merrifield's combinatorial synthesis so how combinatorial chemistry is useful in target discovery and its validation it plays a crucial role uh, it explores a large chemical space identifies the potential lead compounds that interact with the specific biological targets it explores the chemical space that is it enables generation of diverse library of compounds with different structures different functional groups and properties it is useful in heat validation and optimization once the lead compounds are identified from the combinatorial libraries they undergo validation and optimization to improve their potency selectivity and pharmacokinetic properties it is useful in validation of the target engagement after identifying the lead compounds the researchers use chemical tools to validate the relevance and involvement of the target in the disease process then identification of biomarkers combinatorial libraries can also be screened against biological samples to identify potential biomarkers associated with the specific disease or biological processes it accelerates the drug development because when we go for traditional method the time is consuming so combinatorial chemistry allows uh, for the rapid generation of compound libraries accelerating the drug discovery process so it's a very short information of how the combinatorial synthesis useful in lead preparation i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning if you like this video kindly press the like button kindly share this to more of your friends thank you for listening go through all the series and score well your in your exams thank you